give me a moment, people. Tell. Just give me a moment. Welcome to the chat. Switch filters. Microphone filter. Microphone unmuted. Button. Okay. We're back on. Welcome back. Kiddies. Well, not kiddies, actually, but... Especially... We should say... People who want to be educated. Education is what... You've come to the wrong, um, come to the wrong channel, or you've come to the wrong video anyway. Um, tonight's video is going to be, hold on a minute. Yeah, tonight's video is, it's, it's. It's not going to be tame. You know, what we're going to be talking about is not going to be tame. Because, oops, you know, oh, I won't say I've retired of being the mental health community, the mental health advocate, advocate, but I had to stand down for a little while. <coughs> um... Reason being, because the groups are closed and I wasn't doing a lot. I wasn't doing that political stuff, but I feel like now is the time where you speak for yourself and speak for others. And that's the way the underground works. The mainstream wants to buy and sell souls. They've been doing that for a long, long time, but the underground does not really want to buy and sell your soul. The me the underground wants to stop you from getting your soul from being sold. 
believe me, there is a lot of evil, manipulative um, people who are giving the underground a bad name. And by the way, um, I'm going to be doing another channel to talk about all this because I think just in case we get shut down. Because we don't want to be shut down. And if we do want to be shut down, we want to start back up again. You know, and then... Because I can't give a fuck about you middle-aged wanking, wanking Karens out there who want to fucking shut people down just because you don't want to know the truth because it's not in black and white. Well, here's the thing. This is all in black and white. And... You know, we just want to say, fuck you, right? It's a new revolution. There's a new revolution out there. Do you know, one day it will be black and white. What we've been saying all along will be in black and white and there'll be nothing else for you to say then. You won't be able to run to anybody. Why? Because it'll be too late. By the time when it's in black and white, it'd be like, you know... Um. You know, you'll have people stabbed dead, blood running cold. That's what we're talking. But you won't want to believe it until it happens. How do we stop it happening? We keep screaming about it until we get people believing it. And, uh, you know, it's there's a lot of evil going on. But the real evil is now more, uh, how can we put it? The real evil is now hidden in plain sight. Um, for a lot of people who, I'm not going to say don't believe, but won't. They won't believe. They won't have it. The devil is no longer in the detail. The devil is in the foreground. And they want to think he's in the background. Well, let me tell you now, brothers and sisters, and my, my community out here, right? I want to tell you now, the mainstream, they don't want to know because it's, you know, oh, well, you know, it's not in the newspapers. Oh, it's not written... It's not written down. It's not been on television. Right? How much chaos do you want to see? How much chaos do you want to see before it happens to your front door? You think you're safe under your own roof. Well, let me tell you now, you're not. You mainstream people who don't want to believe, you want it all in black and white. You're no longer going to be safe. And for those suffering from mental health conditions, guess what? This this country, the UK, has gone so much to the dogs um, that they want you running from this country. Why? Because you haven't got, you don't know what to do. Nobody's interested in community anymore. Because, and I'm going to talk, I've talked about this in another video, it's not up yet, but I have I've need to put it on. I've talked about how and how you can make a strong community. Doesn't take much. If you're a student, if you're a young student, get a few students together. You, you only need to look at Mark Zuckerberg. You only need to look no farther than... than Mark Zuckerberg and what he's done. Mark Zuckerberg was actually, he started his, um, he started his thing from a dormitory. It starts from that. It starts from the little living room, the little get together. Then the little get together grows and grows and grows. And you could get enough money together to, to build a community centre and start the caring from there. 
You need to care about what is in your community. You need to care about the people that is in your community, the people that surround you, the people that you bring together. You need to hold them in your hand. That's how it starts. You know? There might be 20 people who are against what's going on. And then you add those 20 people with another 20 people. That is a strong number. When you're 30, 40 people, that is strong to start off with because that's a good strength. You get a good, strong unit together and then suddenly you build a community, you get a hub, you never move the hub because the hub has to stay centralised. And then you build, you know, you get sub-communities, they go off, they build stronger communities, and then they get units, and then, and that's how it works, right? That's how it works. And you, for a, for a good community, you change the leaders. Because leaders get too powerful. Anyway, that's <laughs> that's a thing. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't be a leader. You could go off and lead another community. You can build another community. But that's how a community stays so strong. And that's how the underground stays strong. The underground stays strong because the underground don't want to be powerful. The underground get a bad name because there's so many people within underground circles. The underground isn't just one uh, circle of people. It's not just one circle. But that circle gets a bad name from other circles. You see what I'm saying? You know, the, the more uh, radical approach. Now, we're... When we talk about radical approaches, we're talking about the 60s and the 70s, you know, the hippies. The hippies taught that radical approach. The hippies taught us that, right? The, uh, you know, the people who uh, were um, very open-minded, very liberalistic. This country is losing a lot of liberalism. Um because of the hippies, because of the mods, because of the yuppies. The list goes on and on and on. You know? It goes right back to your granddads and your grands, your grands and your granddads. It goes to their children and their children and their children and their children. We're a long line generation. And you see, Gen Z, they want to learn from an iPad. An iPad will literally just put them into the dead end. Anyway, uh, enough from that because <laughs> that's not what this live stream is all about. Um, I was just saying why I'm not an advocate for, well, why I've had to sort of come back and, you know, for mental health. But anyway, I'm going to the toilet, but sticking on the stream. Um,. I'm going to wipe the heat on because I want to come back to a nice, warm and comfortable. Oh, yeah, I want you all to get comfortable because if you're not comfortable, then I have, to, I have to be a good housekeeper, don't I? I get used to some of you guys moaning to me in the, comfort of the comments. Oh, you didn't tell me to get comfortable to this evening. What's going on? Well, get comfortable. Oops, because this is all about a social engagement.
Well, if you knew what we were going through, you wouldn't want to lock anyone up and 
throw away the key. That's not the right analysis used. Now, by the way, I am not an old timer. Uh, you know, an old buffer when it comes to the whole thing. Because... You know, just because something happened to you in a way where you think, well, it's correct, it's right that they lock them up and throw the, throw the key away. Nobody ha ever had a look ha and, and they say, oh, this is just the asylums were the answer. Well, would you like to be fed Largactyl? If you're a 50 or 60 year old person watching this, I want you to think this. I want you to think this right, and it's, it's, this is an easy thing to think when you're watching this, right? Think, what would it be like to be sedated, right? I've seen, I've seen someone sedated. It's horrible. It's, do you know, it's worse than, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's worse than watching someone get punched. It's the most, it's something that I personally can't describe. But can you imagine, 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 forget everything you've been told, forget all the, all the phony shit you've been told, right? Imagine that you are on the sedation drug, right? How would you feel to be sedated? How would you feel to be where you, your brain is just, it's not functioning the way you want it to do and it's changing you? It's slowing you down. It's the most horrible thing. These people, they weren't put to sleep. They were sedated. That's like, I can't imagine what that would feel to those people. Um, I'm just checking that I'm doing alright I'm my life's going alright right I've got one watching well you know um I always think, like, the shit I've read, thinking, holy crumbs. You know, um, antidepressants, you know that people are going, woo, me happy pills, I can't live without my happy pills. Well, guess what? Your happy pills aren't so, woo, I'm happy now. And some people can't live without them. But basically... You know what they used to put into those so-called happy pills that you take? And you're going to be shocked when I tell you this. They used to put, um, they used to, they used to give you, it used to be coding. I've had them so-called happy pills. I've had codeine, right? Um... When I had COVID, was it a few years ago? Uh, 2020, 2021, yeah, it was 2021, right? Um, I was prescribed the codeine, right? Um, or cocodamol, it's the same shit. Um, 
and I had a safe dosage of it. But I lay on the bed in the basement on my old bed, nice cool, and I just had to watch TikToks. Now I'm like, you know, lying on my bed with my, cl with my closed eyes, my eyes closed, and I'm just like watching TikToks or listening to story tapes. And I just really, I couldn't get off. And so it keeps you buzzing. <laughs> you know, I didn't. Uh... I was rested, but not, not properly. When it, wear, when it wears off, man, that's when you're buggered. The next day I was like, I think I was up in the air, I think. Anyway, um, now those, those happy pills, they're sedation tablets they give you. It's scary. I used to think one time that the, the, the antidepressant, wouldn't that be cool to take one if you get an absolute buzz? But uh, no, it's not. Uh, the old antidepressants, yeah, because they, they had codeine in them. But... Um, I mean, and also as well, a lot of drugs are even legal, even legal stuff is uh, synthesized as hell. So they'll be putting all kinds of crap in it to sedate you more. Because the legal, because the, the, they want you to, the system wants you on that drug. They want you tied to that drug. You know, so you're having to rely on it. Uh, I'm trying to think of a headache pill that, you know, you take. But anyway. And because once you start on like painkillers, the people think they get addicted. But you take that sort of headache gets better. So yeah.
Um, Anyway, um, I was lost there. <laughs> Need a script on these types of. Anyway, um, I want to move it along slightly and tell you about the new blog that I'm working on, which is on Tumblr. The Imaginary Friends blog. And I've decided to do all my live streams here. I'm still doing a few odd ones on Facebook, but I'm keeping it to YouTube and Tumblr. I haven't had a chance to check anything tonight, strangely enough. 